What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, man, we got to talk about this. Just got home. It is approximately 2 a.m. Uh, just finished recording with the homies. Uh, if you miss the live stream reaction of AEW All Out, go check it out on the Inner Clutch page. It's up on the channel right now. You can go check it out if you missed it we had a good time you guys were awesome in the chat appreciate everyone that sent us some donations man and uh, we enjoyed ourselves man so we're looking forward to checking out the dicks uh aew event and uh yeah we got to talk about this man daniel bryan aka brian danielson and adam cole are now in aew not gonna lie to you the show was already solid them both coming out at the end bumped it up even more seeing cm punk wrestle again was fantastic they did a good job bro they they did a good job with all out and seeing these two guys in this company definitely definitely has uh, changed the game even more for aew Seeing the crowd do the yes chant was beautiful. Seeing the crowd go crazy for Adam Cole, hearing the Adam Cole baby, beautiful. Hearing the crowd go crazy for CM Punk, beautiful. I I really don't know what to say other than this is great for wrestling. I know Daniel Bryan is going to put on some fantastic match matches i gotta stop calling him daniel bryan i gotta call him brian danielson i know he's gonna put on some fantastic matches the yes movement will be alive and well love to see it i know adam cole is gonna put on some fantastic matches i am looking forward to seeing where this go i really am i'm looking forward to the feud between uh daniel bryan and kenny omega or daniel bryan and i mean brian I, keep, I gotta stop saying i'm so used to saying daniel bryan brian danielson and uh kenny omega or brian danielson and um adam cole like the possibilities here are really great and just some of the up-and-coming stars in aew like this is great i just want people to understand this overall is going to put some more pressure on wwe it is because now you have some of your most over wrestlers that the company has had in a very long time we cannot deny adam cole was over in nxt and he probably would have been over in the main roster if they would have booked him correctly but he was nxt for the past few years there's no denying it he was one of the best things on nxt he is what made that brand took it to the next level daniel bryan in the time you know as he was called daniel bryan in in wwe come on come on the yes movement alone was one of the most over movements most organically over movements we had seen in so long we hadn't seen a crowd that behind someone since like and i'm talking about outside of cm punk i'm talking about so over it was on mainstream television that type over we hadn't seen something like that since the early stages of you know like the attitude era someone that universally over and it was he was the guy he was the guy that everybody wanted his career got cut short then he was able to come back again people loved him put on fantastic matches put on great message matches with roman reigns as he was leaving the company he was one of their top guys there's no denying it he was and then of course cm punk self-explanatory one of their top guys as well those are some major players and it's looking like nxt is being taken over by uh vince mcmahon and i'm not surprised to see some other talents from nxt being released i can see johnny gargano getting released i can unfortunately or maybe fortunately who knows i can see a lot of the guys getting released that made nxt what it was 
I can see them getting released since it's being taken over by Vince now. I can see that. And guess what? They could go to AEW. Now, here's the thing. I don't want AEW to get to the point where they're getting all these talented people and not utilizing them correctly. So that's my only concern. But outside of that, yeah, bro, this is nice. I am looking forward to it. This is what we need. This is what we need. You want to know what made the Monday Night Wars so great back in the day? It was because it forced competition between the two companies. Granted, for the longest time, WCW was smacking the hell out of Monday Night Raw. WCW was what people wanted to see. But then things started to shift. Then things started to change. And it wasn't it wasn't as one-sided anymore. WWE, well at the time WWF, they knew they needed to make some changes to compete. They needed to be a little bit more edgier. They needed to. They had no other choice. They was losing people to WCW at the time. Because WCW was getting what they wanted. The fans were getting what they wanted. People got tired of the, the same old stick with WWE. Stone Cold helped them get to that point. You know, and I say this because for WWE to get better, there has to be another company that pushes them to get better. Because the only thing Vince cares about is the bottom dollar, the money. And guess what? These networks are going to pay attention to these ratings. If these networks see that, damn, Raw is really not pulling anything anymore like it used to, but... AEW Dynamite on Wednesday is killing it right now. You know what I'm saying? They're starting to up up their views. People are starting to watch that more. They're going to come at Vince like, yo, what are you doing? Why, do, why is people not watching the product as much? Because it's all about the bottom dollar. And I bet you then Vince will change some things. That's the only way things will change is if Vince starts losing money. Then he will change. Outside of that, it's going to stay the same. So I hope that this competition breeds change for the better in WWE. Because I want both companies to flourish. The only thing that's holding WWE back is their booking and their storytelling. If they could just work on that, they would be good. And the only thing I feel like that could help AEW is... Maybe getting some more money behind them, more backing financially behind them so they can have, you know, maybe even put a, up their quality in like when it comes to presentation and stuff. But outside of that, they may be, you know, saying they're, they're on the up and up. They're on the incline. They got these talented people that fans know. And that's the key. People know who Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, Adam Cole is. They know. And you're not going to get a watered down version of these guys either. They're going to let these guys go out there and perform like they should. So at this point, for me, AEW, they're looking pretty good right now. They are looking mighty well, well off of themselves. And I hope this forces WWE's hands. Because right now, if you want to be brutally honest, outside of like, edge like the edge of promo well pro, uh, not promo but the edge storyline with rollins and roman reigns maybe a couple other storylines there's not much going on for wwe to be honest the roman reigns storyline potentially with brock lesnar that's that's pretty much holding people down granted roman reigns is really carrying wwe on his back that's just what it is at this point and edge is you know doing his part as well but outside of that and both of those guys are on smackdown outside of that what is really holding wwe down because i don't even watch raw so i don't even waste my time and bobby lashley's cool champion but his feuds that the people he's been facing have been lackluster it's not his fault so what are they gonna do so hopefully we'll see
how this plays out, but I am happy to see Brian Danielson and Adam Cole in AEW. Definitely, um, I marked out for that. I thought that was fucking dope. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys just as excited as I am to see where AEW goes from here? Are you guys as excited and hyped to know that we're about to see some great matches from Adam Cole, Brian Danielson, and CM Punk? Are you looking forward to these feuds that they're about to have? And who do you think these guys are going to feud with? Let me know who do you guys think each of these wrestlers are going to feud with. Who you think CM Punk is going to feud with next? Who you think uh, Brian Danielson is going to feud with? Who you think Adam Cole is going to feud with, feud with? Let me know. And do you guys think this will cause WWE to potentially put on better shows? Let me know. I would like to get y'all thoughts and opinions on that. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.